Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today I'm doing a how to style Spanx video. I've got two kinds of Spanx, the quilted faux leather leggings and then just like the regular faux leather leggings. And I have some really cute outfit ideas for you guys that are very easy to replicate. Now everything's going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys. Buy outfits so you can easily shop everything that I am showing you, not just the leggings themselves. Um, I also have like my measurements down there so you can see like my size reference to know like what size I am versus like what size I'm wearing if that helps you guys at all. And I will also have like makeup details, hair details, everything like that's going to be down there below. So go ahead and click subscribe while you are down there. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. I put up three videos a week and all different kinds of topics, mainly beauty and fashion, but I would love to have you join. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. And I'm chasing light here. I'm filming this after I get home from work, so we will just have to see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so we are starting out with the quilted leggings. So we'll show them to you guys up close a little bit. You can see the quilted detail goes along the thigh. And then it kind of wraps around and goes back down the outer part. So there's not a lot of like quilting on the inner part of your leg. Um, but they are super, super cute. Now, I did get a medium in the regular Spanx. And then these, I heard that you should go up if you wanted, like up one size, if you wanted a little bit more of a shine. And I would definitely say that that is true. I got a large in these. The only problem is you can see like they're just a little bit big. Um, so they don't fit like true Spanx. Like they don't pull you in. So you'll kind of see the difference in that. But for the quilted leggings, um, honestly, I'm going to keep it even more simple with these than I would the other leggings just because there is like detail on the side. So for this one, I styled it with a jean jacket. You guys know it like basically wouldn't be a try on haul like video of mine if I didn't share a jean jacket look. <laughs> so this one is from Levi's. I will link a similar one. Um, this is a trucker jacket. I believe they still sell it to this day, but I believe it's out of stock right now. And then I honestly, you could wear any white shirt that you have. I just styled it with like a plain white high necked long shirt from H&M that's like under 10 bucks. Just cause when I'm wearing any kind of leggings, whether it be Spanx or you know, regular, I still prefer for the tee to be a little bit longer. And then I just have it on with my nude Vince Camuto Gigietta booties. Get your true size in these. They fit perfect. They have a little, oh Lord, I almost fell. They have a um, slit down the side of them and they are the perfect neutral so they go with everything so this is look one again just like simple that's going to be kind of key especially with that quilted detail on the side okay the second outfit is just jean top chambray top whatever you choose to call it and then the same quilted leggings with the same nude booties um honestly you guys are going to hear me say the same things over and over again in this video just keep it simple. I love a good chambray top with any look because I think that there are many different ways to like dress this up. You could easily wear, um, you could throw like a faux fur vest over this. You could wear a puffer vest over this. You could throw a scarf on with this. There are lots of different ways, but for fall, especially when, since I live in the South, it basically, we kind of like skip fall and we would like really just straight to winter at the end of October. Um, this is kind of more appropriate. So it's kind of like a thin top, just chambray material. This one's from Target. And then the quilted leggings, nude booties, simple. All right, so now we are into an edgy vibe. And you guys, if you have been following me for a while, you know that this is my jam. This is my kind of outfit right here. So Quilted leggings still, I have five outfits with the quilted leggings. I don't know if I said that. I'm going to do five quilted, five regular. Um, but I have those on with just some plain, like, black Sam Edelman booties. I can't think of the name of these. I haven't had these for super long, maybe like a week or so. Um, but they're just like a pointed toe, really sleek, very chic. And then I'm wearing a long sleeve gray top. I've had this for probably, I think I got it my freshman year of college, so seven years now. I don't even know where it's from, so I'll link a few similar ones below for you guys, but it's just like a long gray um, top. And then I do get asked, because I like to wear like longer stuff, how this leather jacket fits. So this leather jacket actually fits true to, well, no, I actually go up one, I'm sorry. So I have a large in this leather jacket, um, just because I felt like I had a medium with the beige color I own, and the shoulders were just a little bit snug. 
Um, so I think this one's a little bit more comfortable, but it actually hits right at my waist. So I'm just wearing a long shirt with it, but do know if you're gonna get this like faux leather jacket, um, I need to quit calling it a leather jacket, it's faux leather, then it's gonna hit right at your waist. So it's very nice. This is the blank NYC one. Um, I love all the zipper detail on it. Just really edgy outfit. This is like, the perfect outfit. I mean, seriously, I love it. So um, if you want to go edgy with your look, you definitely can. And this is a very simple way to just be super edgy with the quilted leggings. Okay, so still a little bit edgy, but not as crazy. I know that that like edgy style isn't everybody's jam, um, but I wanna talk about this sweater. So this is a free people, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a free people sweater. This sweater was all the rage last year, and I believe it retails for like 120 bucks. I never paid that much for it. You can almost always find it on sale at like Macy's. Um, free people, like the website rarely does sales, but you can find it on sale. So, so with that being said, if you were going to pay $128 for a sweater, this one would a thousand percent be the one I would recommend doing that for. Uh, but just now, like. That's a little crazy. So I don't think I paid over 50. Maybe, I don't think I paid over 60. So this sweater I did get in a small. And the reason why is because the purple one, I believe, I got in a medium and it's a little bit too oversized. Um, but as you can see, like I am five foot nine. I say that in every video, <laughs> someone told me that. Um, but I wanna make sure that I reference it. So I'm five foot nine, so I have pretty long legs. It covers the bum, just barely. But the purple kind of looked a little bit a little bit too big. So this is the perfect white oversized sweater. Lots of different ways to dress up this particular sweater. I cannot keep my balance today, but this is how I would style it for sure if I didn't want to be, you know, super edgy, but still a really, really good look like that. So you can wear a hat with a fun little detail on it if you want to do like an all black look like this. Just make sure, I haven't mentioned this yet, be careful. Like you don't wanna have the quilted pattern with like a leopard top and then, you know, like even if they're black, like snakeskin booties, just like kind of make sure that it's all evened out. So I went with a very simple black sweater. Again, the same black Sam Edelman booties. And then I did just style it with a hat. Um, this is an Amazon hat. I've shared the little hack before that instead of like buying a brand new hat that has the like detail on it, this is a hat from Amazon and a little like pack of hair scarves from Amazon. I just tied it around the hat and you have a whole different look. So you could do all black like this again, just like I do wanna make sure I throw it in there. Make sure you're careful about like mixing patterns and all that kind of stuff. So this is the all black look I would do for sure. Um, but to each its own, I know some people don't like all black, but I basically live for it. Okay, so I'm sorry if the lighting is starting to get weird in here. I told you guys I'm chasing sunlight, so I'm trying to kind of rush here. Uh, but this is the regular leggings. And as you can see, there is really no difference in the mirror. The biggest difference is just when you look at them like in the light. You can see that they are like truly a faux leather look. Um, honestly, if you're going to invest in just one pair of Spanx, I would recommend the regular just because you are able to wear them with a little bit more and I see that there are so many like you know Spanx lookalikes out there and while that is true they do have that same shine I've tried some on in stores none of them suck you in like these do let me just like the way they suck your stomach in is amazing so um okay this is how I would style this. I have on that same like long sleeve gray top, black leather shoes from Sam Edelman. And then I styled this with a suede jacket. So I love the suede jacket. It's from Amazon. Um, it looks just like that black faux leather one that I just had on from Blank NYC. Zippers in all of the same places. It is such a good look alike. Um, so if you want the suede version, like you could definitely pick this up. Um, but this is just, you know, the first outfit for the faux leather leggings, but the, I believe like sixth outfit overall. So if you want to do like a black top black leggings, an easy way to not be as like, you know, 
all black, I don't even know how to describe that, is to do nude booties. Again, these are the Vince Camuto booties that I had on in the first look, I believe. Um, they really just go with so many things. This top is from, I believe it's like Amazon maybe? It's actually like a tunic. I got it last year and I wore it all the freaking time. Um, it has shrunk up just a little bit in the wash, so it doesn't cover my butt fully, but that's not a huge deal. Um, I probably would recommend going up a size in this though, if you do want it to really cover your butt, because I did get this in a medium. I do remember that. So simple, easy. You guys know I repeat myself a lot, but if you keep the pieces simple that you purchase, then there are really going to be so many ways to style that piece. Okay, this coat again is like fully going to be one of those pieces you guys get sick of seeing by fall. But I'm going to do a few casual looks for you guys now. So this is a coat again from Mango. I've told you guys before when I share it that it is like the best piece. It retails for about $120. Never seen it for $120. I always see it on sale. But if you manage to get online and it is in stock, snag it because they sell out so fast. Like I can't explain it. Most of the time, by the time I find out that they're back in stock, um, they're sold out again. So it does sell out quickly, but this is the code again. I believe I got the small medium. I can't quite remember, but I'll put it in the description bar below. And then um, I have just like a plain black top on underneath the black leggings. And then I just styled this with black flats. So this would be a good travel outfit if you are traveling this year. God bless you if you are or just like a very good casual outfit for, you know, like a day full of errands. Bunch of different ways you can wear this, but um, you could even do like black sneakers or you could dress it up and do black booties. But this is just how I wanted to share it because I wanted to share a few different casual looks for you guys as well. Okay, now something I do wanna mention is I think the faux leather leggings are hot. Um, I've seen some people that wear them year round and if you like to wear them year round, that's fine. I prefer to only wear them in the fall time just because it is they are hot to me so i just styled this look very simple but again still like i wanted to do a casual one so i have on just like a white tee and a black cardigan from amazon um you could even do like a black tee under under this a, a gray tee any color under the sun and then i have on some leopard mules so these are from amazon as well i got them last year and i love them so much they are like really fun they have a little bit of a heel like half an inch one inch maybe at most but i don't know i just think they're like really cool because usually i keep my mules simple and they're a little bit different. They look very similar to some like more expensive pieces, but if you wanna keep the pieces simple, but still have a little fun pop of pattern or even color, then shoes for sure. All right, so very sporty and casual here. I styled a white shirt with the chambray over it. Tell me if I'm saying that right. I literally have not known how to say it for years and I hear people say it differently all the time. I don't know. I guess I could just look it up, but um, chambray top. This is a lot more sporty. And so obviously, you know, with the sneakers, you're gonna get a sporty vibe, but I will show you a way to make it like a little bit more edgy if this isn't how you wanna wear it. So you guys know I'm a sucker for a good, like either jean jacket or chambray top around the waist, just because if you do wear it like this and you're hot, you know, you'll be fine. Or if you get cold, you could just pull this off your waist and put it on, you're gonna be a little bit warmer. Um, but I do think that this makes it a little less sporty, a little bit more edgy. How many times am I gonna use those same words in this video? I have no idea. But another good outfit, just style your faux leather Spanx leggings with some sneakers and a t-shirt and you are like, good to go. All right guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it, the lighting was, I hope it behaved as much as it looked like it behaved on camera. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you for all the love lately. You guys are the best internet fam out there. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you guys in my next video.